Good morning and welcome back to another edition of Research Fantasy Presents our MLB DFS Hitter Picks for Thursday, May 11th, 2017. We've got a nice slate of baseball action tonight. Nine games, including games at Coors and Chase. So it's going to be an eventful evening, and I think there's plenty of places we can go for hitting. So let's start things off with Chris Taylor who didn't make our article but wanted to mention him. Uh, Been on a roll since coming up and kind of, uh, you know, taking the place of multiple injured players for this Dodgers team. Uh, Got some power upside, three home runs and somewhat of limited action. Heading to Coors to take on a lefty. And Tyler Anderson, who's not horrible, but Coors is not going to help this situation out any. Pretty good shot he's going to be in the lineup as the Dodgers will have to go righty heavy. And I think that he just makes a great play in basically all formats because I think his floor is safe enough. I assume the Rockies or the Dodgers are going to score some runs here. I think he should be hitting in a good enough spot in the lineup to get on base, to get brought home by some of the bats like Kike Hernandez, Franklin Gutierrez, Justin... uh, why my my Justin Turner? I don't know why my brain blanked there, but I think there's. I know that that was kind of funny. Power bass, KK Hernandez, Franklin Gutierrez, haha. But it is what it is. I mean, this is what these guys do. They hit lefties, so got to have some exposure to them in your lineups tonight. Moving on from there, I like Hunter Pence. Pence and the uh, Giants. You know, a lot of these Giants go unowned. Bronson Arroyo has been somewhat disappointing to pick on from time to time. I think with the two games that I mentioned on the slate tonight, you know, the Giants are definitely the last team in a bad ballpark for hitters that we're really, you know, so overly excited about jumping all over. But the upside's there. Pence's price is relatively cheap. 3,100 Fandle, 3,900 DraftKings. I think that's fine. Arroyo allowing a 421 Woba, 41.4% fly ball rate, and 40% hard contact to righties on the year. That works out well for guys like Hunter Pence and Buster Posey. I expect them to have pretty big games tonight, and I would have no problem slotting them into my tournament lineups. Last up, my favorite play on the slate is going to be Jose Abreu, 3,800 Fandle, 4,800 on DraftKings. Yes, some of that pricing is a result of the fact that the first base position always gets priced up a little bit more than the other positions. I think if you look at DraftKings, you'll see way more guys over 4K than at any other position. But Abreu off to a pretty solid start this year, uh, taking on Phil Hughes. He's a high fly ball, hard contact pitcher, which lends itself perfectly to Abreu's skill set. We kind of got... Uh, you know, screwed out of this game yesterday, which I was very excited about from multiple aspects, but we should get it tonight. Obviously make sure to check the weather to make sure that everything is good to go. Uh, I'm telling you things you already know because you've played this long enough, most likely that, you know, that baseball more than other sports, the weather is a huge, huge deal. So Abreu tonight, definitely a guy I want to have, I think he's going to go deep tonight, and I want to have exposure to him in my lineups. All right, that'll wrap it up for today. Our top three tournament bats, Chris Taylor, Hunter Pence, Jose Abreu. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel below. Head over to researchfantasy.com. Sign up for our MLB mailing list. Like us on Facebook. Follow us on Twitter at Research and Win, and join us again tomorrow.